Hello, welcome to our science class. Are you ready for our lesson today? Today's lesson is Science 6, Quarter 4, Week 1. Changes on the Earth's surface due to earthquake and volcanic eruption. What is an earthquake? It is the shaking of the surface of the Earth, resulting from a sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. It is also called a quake, tremor, or tembler. It is measured by a Richter magnitude scale. Seismograph is an instrument that measures and records details of earthquakes such as force and duration. What are the effects of earthquakes? Number one, ground shaking. It is a term used to describe the vibration of the ground during an earthquake. It is the primary cause of earthquake damage to man-made structures. When the ground shakes strongly, Buildings can be damaged or destroyed, and their occupants may be injured or killed. 2. Ground Rupture It occurs when the earthquake movement along a fault breaks the Earth's surface. During the shaking, stresses are produced in the ground, leading to ground rupture. Structures like dams, bridges, tunnels, Pipelines, roads, and others are at risk of ground rupture. 3. Landslide It is the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a sloped section of land. An earthquake causes slope instability by shaking the slope land in all possible directions. This causes landslides. Rockfall is also a type of landslide, which also occurs due to an earthquake. Tsunamis. These are large sea waves or series of waves that can be generated by an earthquake. Large tsunamis can completely devastate low-lying coastal areas. 5. Liquefaction of soil. This takes place when loosely packed, waterlogged sediments at or near the ground surface lose their strength in response to strong ground shaking. This generally causes sinking and tilting of rigid structures like buildings and sometimes leads to complete collapsing of the structure. Like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions cause changes on Earth's surface. What is a volcanic eruption? A volcanic eruption occurs when magma is released from a volcano. Volcanic eruptions can be quite calm and effusive, or they can be explosive. Volcanic eruptions can also pose hazards to people and property. What are the effects of volcanic activity? 1. Volcanic gases Volcanic ash like sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, and hydrochloric fumes can lead to acid precipitation. It can also lead to lower surface temperature and promote depletion of Earth's ozone layer because of carbon dioxide. Poisonous gases such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and sulfur dioxide can travel down a volcano and suffocate wildlife and humans. 2. Lava Flows Lava flows are layers of molten rock that flow over the surface later cooling and solidifying. The speed at which lava moves across the ground and its thickness is life-threatening. Huge volumes of lava flow can cause massive damage to property and tremendous economic loss. 
three pyroclastic flows. Massive debris flow or lahar forms when hot ashes, very fine rock fragments, and hot lava are mixed with water from nearby lakes or rivers when heavy rains occur. Four, global climate. Eruption clouds occur when massive quantities of ash is ejected into the atmosphere where it can reach heights of 50,000 feet. Eruption clouds have proven to be very dangerous for aviation jets because the ash can shut down the engines. The ash cloud can also be very hazardous in terms of air pollution. Like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions can cause changes on Earth's surface. However, volcanic activities can also produce some benefits to various sectors of society. What are the benefits of volcanic activity? 1. Agricultural benefits. After volcanic eruption, the burning lava can turn into one of the richest or most fertile soil in the world. One of the major benefits is the fact that volcanic activity can create very fertile soil for agriculture. 2. Energy benefits. The heat generated by volcanoes can create electricity to power civilization. People living within volcanic regions use the underground steam as the source of electricity. A new but important trend is geothermal power. 3. Industrial Benefits Volcanic activity can also create many mineral resources such as gold, silver, nickel, copper, and lead. Volcanic rock is often used for landscaping, tile, and cement. 4. Economic and Recreational Benefits Volcanoes can promote tourism. Mayon Volcano in Legazpi, Albay, and Taal Volcano in Batangas are among the most visited tourist spots in the Philippines. Some of the most amazing landscapes are near volcanoes. This is because volcanic activity builds land, creating breathtaking scenery. So, volcanoes are economically vital for many regions because of the recreational activity and tourism they bring. 's time to apply what you have learned answer the following exercises exercise one directions match the description in column a with the word or words in column B write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided here are the correct answers Number 1, F, Tsunami. 2, B, Liquefaction. 3, D, Ground Rupture. 4, C, Ground Shaking. And number 5, E, Landslide. Next, let's answer exercise 2. Directions. Read each item carefully. Identify what benefit or effect of volcanic activity is being described in each sentence. Time to check your answers. Number one, effects of lava flows. Number two, Effects in global climate. Three, agricultural benefits. Four, effects of pyroclastic flows. Five, energy benefits. Six, effects of volcanic gases. And number seven, economic and recreational benefits. Now let's try answering exercise three. 
Directions. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Check your answers. Number one, D. Number two, A. Number three, B. Four, B. Five, D. Six, D. Seven, B. Eight, C. Nine, D. And number ten, C. So that will be all for this lesson. I hope to see you in my next videos. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get updated when I post my next videos. Thanks for watching!